and this is how I'm getting treated. We're all taxpayers. This is not right. That was Lisa Sheffield at this week's county board meeting sounding off on Equus, the company contracted by the county to run the hotel voucher program. We've told you about the plight of Sheffield's family before. 180 to $200,000 in cleanup and restoration. ABC 10 News anchor Wale Aliu visiting with her family several times after floodwaters swamped their Spring Valley home. Sheffield's husband, an amputee veteran. The family was staying on a voucher at the Ramada Hotel in National City when the county took over the voucher program in mid-February. As the checkout date approached, Sheffield's son, Carrington Panky, says they contacted Equus repeatedly to find out about an extension. Mom called them, I called them. And got no response. Peggy says his family of seven checked out that morning, then walked over right here to this parking lot and stood here for hours with all of their bags, not knowing if they were going to be extended. Later that day, it was the hotel who told them Equus had extended them. It's an unneeded stress. Over the past month, more frustrations over the hotel vouchers. We're closed. From a flood victim mistakenly sent to a shuttered hotel in San Isidro. Just a lot of confusion going on right now. To another family suddenly forced to check out of their hotel before the county ultimately placed them in another. A county spokesperson says they've heard the complaints about Equus and most center around a lack of communication. At Tuesday's county board meeting, Equus CEO Mark Douglas addressed the complaint. I sit with that and I own it but we will make it right. We want to be able to communicate better and just know if, if we can have stable housing. Michael Chen, ABC 10 News.